This is, of course, the time to be thinking about new beginnings and new years. Uh, we talked a little bit yesterday about that great Western classic, Old Lang Syne. How about the joyous celebration of the new year from the Chinese perspective? Of course, we know the Chinese uh, uh, New Year takes place, place a month and a half after uh, the traditional Western New Year. And nevertheless, there is a tremendous celebratory nature of it. Take a look at our picture here. We have an interesting picture here from the uh, 18th century, the la last part of the 1700s uh, from China, and it's Yao Wen Han's 18th century work of art noted as the joyous celebration at New Year. And you have a, a, a deeply layered picture. I love all the, it's very, these pictures of China, from China from this period are very Byzantine. If you think about Byzantine art and those glowing golden backgrounds, you, you see that they share a lot in common what's happening in this particular period of Chinese artistic endeavor, uh, endeavor as well. You see in the foreground a deeply, deeply uh, layered painting. You see young children cele uh, celebrating with toys and puppets this incoming New Year. And as you you move back, you see uh, older and older and then farther back, older and more revered generations of Chinese. You get the whole uh, layout of this beautifully uh, striated culture where, theoretically at least, the older you were, the more you were valued. The older you were, the more your wisdom was treasured by the family. The young people are all in front, engaging in rather childish games, and you move backwards to the, to the, uh, the, the real sanctification of age and wisdom and experience. Of course, all this would be eradicated uh, in a couple of hundred years by the communist revolution, but this culture had a lot to offer, with a lot to teach the West, too about the appreciation of the old when it's time to study and celebrate the new with the Chinese New Year. As we know, Chinese New Year, also called the Spring Festival or the Lunar New Year, falls between January 21st and February 20th annually. Although spring is yet to come, Chinese people begin preparing for its arrival. Celebrations traditionally last for a month and a half, starting on Spring Festival Eve and culminate with the Lantern Festival. Festival. 2022 marks the year of the tiger. So get your survivor uh, records out of mothballs. It's the eye of the tiger year. Uh, let's just hope the Chinese military doesn't take that as an opportunity to swallow up Taiwan.